<laughs> All right, so today we're going to be learning evaluating expressions. So just like before, we're going to start with vocabulary. So if I want to evaluate an expression, what would be the root word of evaluate? What does that mean? We want to find the value. Okay. We want to find the value like, of something. Like to get, like to equal to something? Or like to solve? Well, we don't solve expressions, so don't use the word solve. Okay. We evaluate expressions, we solve equations, and we'll get to those. Okay. But today's lesson with expressions, we evaluate, we find the value. For example, we'll start with an easy one. What if I have negative 2ab plus c? And I tell you that a is 4, b, negative 2, and c, negative 3. So there's our three values. So a is 4, b is negative 2, c is negative 3. This is our expression. So this is our algebraic expression. So this is negative 2 times a times b plus c. And so the first thing we're going to do is substitute. When we substitute, I want you to use parentheses. So we're going to write this again. You have negative 2. There's an A, so we're going to put parentheses to substitute A, which is 4. <coughs> and again, we're going to use parentheses to substitute the value for B, which is negative 2. And then we're going to plug in C, which is negative 3. So we substituted A, B, and C, and we use parentheses. The reason we use parentheses is so that we don't lose these negatives. Okay? We keep track of those negatives. And it will help us when we do the next step. The next step, we must follow the order of operations. Okay, you must still follow the order of operations. We've been studying those. So the first step is parentheses. There are none. Okay, no grouping anyway. They're all down to one number. Then exponents. There are none. Divide or multiply from left to right. Left to right. So we're going to take care of these right here. So negative 2 times 4? Negative 8. Very negative 8. And then we multiply these? 16. And 16. And our final answer would be? Uh, 13. 13. 13. And that's it. So that's how we would evaluate or find the value so we found the value of this expression when these variables take on these values. So this expression is equal to 13. We found its value when these have those values. So we substitute, 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 follow the order of operations. We found the value. So we evaluated this expression. Okay. Questions on this example? No. No. So let's do another one. What if we have a division with a fraction in there? What if we have that? Negative 3AB divided by C, and we'll say that A is 3, B is negative 2, and C is What was the first? 
first step? Substitute. Very good. Substitute. And when we substitute, we should use parentheses. Let's use parentheses. So we have negative 3 parentheses three. times 3. Good. Parentheses. Negative 2. Negative 2. And what was C? Negative 3. Negative 3. And after we substitute with parentheses, follow the order of operations. Follow order of operations. Top, and we have division, right? Fraction bar, we can take care of the top and then worry about the bottom. Or we could divide this way. Either way works. So we could multiply across negative 3 times 3. Nine. So we would get negative 9 with a negative 2. And we still have a negative 3. Negative 9 times negative 2. 18 with negative 3, which would give us negative 6. Good. Let me show you the other way. We could divide those. Negative 3 with negative 3 would divide. That gives us a 3 with a negative 2. These divide, right? Nothing here. And you would still get negative 6. So you could just kind of divide those. And come here. Either way. Okay. Questions on that one? No questions? It's two easy steps. What was the first step? Substitute. Substitute. Make sure you use parentheses. After that, you do what we've been doing. We've been studying this. Follow the order of operations. Okay. One more or we're good? We're good. Okay, we'll try it like that. If we need more, we'll do more on Monday.